This is an old uh, EPC UPS that I found on one of the spring cleanup days. I believe it's a uh, 208 volt uh, 3 kVA uh, UPS. What is it? Model uh, NS3000 RMT 3U. Yeah, um, 16 amp, input current 16 amp, 3000 VA 2250 watt for that model. And when I initially got it, I took the batteries out and they were completely dead, so I recycled them. But I'm going to try and get this thing working. If not, then I'll take it apart and to get some parts out of it. So let's get the top cover off. And that should be the last screw. Really big transformers, a smaller one, the inverter board with a fan, some heat sinks, and some nice uh, twist lock plugs back there. Okay, got a proper plug on it. Well, not the proper one, but one that'll work. Let's plug it into 208 volts and see what it does. No bang, that's a good thing. See if we can turn it on. Oh, it would help if we turned on the breaker. No, still nothing. Maybe it needs DC to work. I'll go hook up a DC power supply to it and see if it does anything. Okay, the power supply is now hooked up to the uh, UPS. Let's turn up the voltage, get about 48 volts on it. It should do. Let's see if it'll cold start. I did something. <whistles> Complaining about something. Maybe it needs a bit more current. Turn the current limit up. Set it to record minimum. Maybe the voltage is dropping out. I'll have to give it a try with AC connected. Okay, now let's see if it does anything. Oh, yeah, the voltage went up. And it seems to be attempting to charge the battery, but there's none there. And it's on. Now... Hey, it's running. And again, it's trying to charge the battery, but there's any there. Let's try pulling out the AC and see if it runs. Yep, seems to work. Now we've got to get a 208 volt load and see if it can actually supply anything. Let's see. 
see if it'll cold start. No, it doesn't seem to want to cold start. I just noticed this does have 120 volt output, and I think that's what uh, this transformer is for. So you can transform the 208 down to uh, 120. Let's plug in a 500 watt lamp and see if it runs. Yep, that seems to work. Now the big question is will it run on UPS power? So let's pull out the plug. And it does seem to work. Thinks the battery's a bit low. Let's turn up the DC a little. What about 50 volts? Still thinks it's the same. I wonder what the uh, current draw from DC is like. Let's go get a meter and take a look. Let's just see if we can stop the beeping. Apparently, if you press the on button during the beep, it will stop. There we go. Okay, let's see what we're drawing from the power supply. 11 amps, that seems about right for a 500 watt light on 48 volts. I wonder if this is true sign. I'm going to have to bring up the uh, oscilloscope and see how the uh, waveform looks. Okay, got the scope out. Let's start that up. And yes. got a, it looks like uh, they've connected one side of the output of this uh, the ground, so that must be the neutral, and that makes it easy to probe. So we just need to connect the uh, ground probe up to chassis ground. This is kind of a special case, you normally can't just do this. Then we should be able to just connect the uh, probe to the uh, hot connection. Let's just set this up. Um, let's see what's up for AC line and for the middle. There we go. I'll just trigger on channel one. That should be good enough. Let's hook up the uh, cord here. Hook up the probe carefully. Hey, yeah, it is a sine wave output. That's a very clean sine wave, actually. So this is actually quite a good uh, UPS. Might be usable as a as a backup power source. I just need a transformer to, uh, to convert the voltage to something usable. In fact, the uh, sine wave this puts out is way better than the sine wave in the wall. The uh, background here is a persisted version of the uh, sine wave sine wave output of the UPS, and this is the sine wave coming from the wall, so that's a much, a way better waveform. Based on the 54 volt output this thing uh, this puts out, I'd say that the charger, this is completely dumb, just a float charger that will hold the battery at this voltage continuously. Let's take a look at how the UPS transfers from uh, normal power to standby power. I've got the scope uh, rolling the trace across the screen slowly, and I'll uh, unplug the AC, and we'll, we can zoom in and look at the dropout and see how many cycles it takes to transition. And here we go. Let's stop that. And now we can zoom in on this. Uh, this Yeah, now we can zoom in on this uh, transfer. That was pretty quick. Basically only missed a quarter of a cycle there. So that's a very good transfer time. 
Now let's try transferring back the other way it's from battery to AC. Plug it back in. There we go. And we can zoom in on that. And again, that was pretty good. Basically, no loss at all, just a small, slight spike lasting 500 microseconds or so. So, this UPS looks pretty good. Uh, the only problem, real problem, is it takes uh, 8 uh, 12 volt, 7 amp hour batteries, and those are quite expensive. But I think it's kind of too good to take this one apart. So, I'm going to keep this one and see if I can uh, rig it up to work on external batteries. Anyway, thanks for watching.